Hi guys, um, anyway so we did our dirtying down uh, using 50% batter black, 50% Devlin mud and I've gone through, I've highlighted them uh, and cleaned them up and just made sure that bits where we'd gone over uh, had been sorted out. So just take this one for example, uh, there we have uh, the mole mole launcher team so I'm going to build some sandbags onto this as well um, when this is all dry and put uh, some barbed wire and stuff onto it um, so there's our mole launchers or our mole launcher and then we got our uh, just a quick look at our radio man he's done just needs a little bit of touching up here and there yeah just a little bit here and there um, so we've gone through a whole lot of the whole squad we've highlighted them I'll just pick them out randomly as I'm talking. We've highlighted them, cleaned them up, um, and now, whoops, there we go, and now we're ready to do the next stage, which is adding the dirt and the mud to them. Because these are engineers, so I'm gonna imagine these guys are gonna be covered head to toe in mud. They're gonna look really messy. Um, you know, they're working in tunnels, they're uh, laying down mines and stuff like that, setting deck charges up. Um, all sorts of things so they're going to be quite muddy so I'm thinking about elbows I'm thinking about knees and stuff like that where they're crawling through the mud uh, down the front of the trousers um, you know maybe on the helmet and stuff like that you know so we've got to look at where we can place mud so that'll be the next step um, uh, so we'll start doing the bases and uh, and I'll see you in the next video uh, I'll see you in about a few minutes get yourselves a nice cup of tea okay bye Hi everybody, okay so we've um, now weathered them, uh, so we used um, 4 to dry mud and a little bit of wet mud in there, so and we've used a, a really thin solution, uh, watered down uh, weathering powders on the bases um, and coated it on the figures as well and then just wiped away where we wanted to wipe away. So if we just check, check one now, still a bit wet. So. Let's just see if we can focus in on, on that guy. So you can see he's quite dirty down. Now I'm going to add over the top of this a devil in mud wash just to just to tone down the uh, uh, the weathering powder a bit and match everything else that we've got. So once that's done, I can then go in and highlight it where I need to highlight it, like bring back some of the grey uh, on the uniform, bring back some of the metals as well. Uh, so we just take a look at these guys. And they've come out quite well. Actually, I'm quite chuffed with these. So, I wanted to make my engineers really dirty um, because you know these guys are in the forefront of the battle and stuff like that. They're digging holes, they're laying down mines, as I said before, um, and they're going to be coated in mud. And I used the reference from the First World War images and Second World War photos and stuff off the net, uh, just so I could get the right sort of like look. Uh, and if it means, you know, wetting down a brush afterwards and just sort of wiping away and then using a, a cotton bud just to clean it up, then, you know, do it. It's worth doing. So if we, took, if we look at one where he's got it all over the helmet as well, let's just take a look at that guy. So we've got a bit of mud on the helmet there. Uh, we've toned down in the grooves of the armour plate and on the, on the stomach and the chest plate. So we've got mud just trapped in there. You know, they come out okay. I don't want to put too much on, but I've got just enough that gives it a, a look at that he's he's been in the battles and doing his stuff. Okay, so I'm going to have to leave these to dry. Uh, it may be an overnight thing, but what I'll do is I'll add the uh, devil in mud and we'll look at these first thing in the morning. And hopefully by then they should be ready to uh, varnish and uh, uh, move on to the next object, which will be, or the next figure, or the next mini, sorry, which will be our Commissar Lord. Anyway guys, well I'll catch you later on, look after yourselves and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, bye.